Hello everyone, welcome to Shadow Wade channel. I'm Shadow Wade, part of Shadow Wade, and we are here to do a test drive of a 3DS game called Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth. So everyone, let's get started with this amazing game. I've played this game before, I haven't finished all the dungeons, but oh my god, it's a pretty amazing game. So, here we go. Try and get this positioned right. Here we go. So I found out that my phone screen doesn't like it when it goes black. But anyways, here's Persona Q. Alright, so here we go. We've got Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth. I hope you guys are excited for this. This is like a test run for the 3DS with me of Let's Plays. We're just trying to get this all set up for you guys. Because here soon I do want to do 3DS games with you guys. So here we go. We've got a good focus. So, here we go. Are you guys ready? Oh, whoops. New game. Here we go. Welcome to the world of Persona Q. It is up to you to choose the story, choose the protagonist of the story. Your choice of protagonist will affect how the story develops. Who will we choose? Persona 3 protagonist, a second year student at Gakukon High School, the leader of C's. He is investigating Tartarus to save mankind from the apathy syndrome. This is the one that we're going after. So the name that we're going to go with right here is going to be, one second. Alright, so back, sorry about that. So, here is the name that we're going to be going with. You guys excited? One second, get back into focus. Oh, come on. What do I need to do to get this in focus? There we go. Okay, yes. So here you go. So, what's our difficulties? We have easy, safety, normal, hard, risky. So just play it safe, we're gonna be playing easy. Relax. 
and enjoy the story. So this is going to be kind of hard playing it like this for a little bit, but we'll come up with something very soon. Oh, here we go. Fate leads the willing and drags along the reluctant. Lucius and Louis Seneca. Welcome to the Velvet Room. This place exists between dream and reality. How unexpected for you to visit while my master is away. like this once before. Ah, uh, that's right. He was on the night of a typhoon not long ago. There was a strange incident. You met a certain someone. At least that's what I seem to recall. But could that have been a dream I had? Or... <sighs> Elizabeth's words bring back memories of a certain person's words. That voice. I wish to ask you something. What transpired on the night of that typhoon? Do you happen to remember the name of the person you met? Enter his name. One second, everyone. Let me enter his name. All right, everyone, here's his name. Yu Naru. Kinda ironic, but whatever. Come on. Ah, as I thought. Sorry, everyone, I'm trying to get this back into focus for you. There we go. Tell me about it. Very well. Allow me to speak a bit on the subject of that incident. It happened on the night of the typhoon, merely a few days ago. The absence of this room's master had made the existence of our velvet room somewhat uncertain. Elizabeth begins to tell her long, long story. Gosh darn, this is so tough. There we go. Summer 20th, September 20th, 2009. The entrance to TARDIS. Your companions are getting ready to enter. It's too bad it got canceled in the end. It would have really been something to look back on. Junpei Yori, Austin's classmate and very cheerful companion. Yukari Takaba, Austin's classmate. She is a strong-willed member. Oh, she is a strong-willed member of the archery team. It's too bad, but the typhoon left no other choice. It would have been awful if someone got hurt. Fuka Yamagishi, a second year like Austin. Her specialties lie in providing backup from afar. Since we can't assure the student's safety, we had to cancel. I feel bad as student council president. Mitsuru Kidro, a third year student at Austin's school and the student council president. No one's blaming you, Mitsuru. It just shows that even we can't fight Mother Nature. Akihiko Sonata, a third year student and captain of the boxing team. 
He's popular with the girls, but... Shinjiro Aragaki, a third year at the school, but he's currently taking leave. Akihiko's childhood friend. Agus, a humanoid robot given the power to use a persona. She has just transferred into Austin's class. Kinamada, a fifth grader, with the power to summon the persona. He lost his mother in an accident. Karmaru, a Shiba Inu who has, sorry, the power to summon Persona. His owner was killed in an accident. Says, I wanted to have big Junpei, shut up. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Velvet Room, Igor, master of the room, is nowhere to be seen. Elizabeth is sitting there alone. Welcome to the Velvet Room. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. How unexpected for you to visit while my master is away. Where's Igor? A young man steps out when the main door is in the room. Oh, Theo, how do you do? This is my incompetent younger brother, Theodore. I realize that's long, so simply call him Theo. But my name is shorter than yours. My name is Theodore. Thank you for bearing with my sister Elizabeth all this time. I am sure her naivete must cause you difficulty at times, but I hope that you can work well with her. Since our master has stepped away for the moment, I'm remaining here alongside her as a precaution. Is something wrong? When the Velvet Room is without its master, the room's existence itself becomes a bit unstable. Moreover, there is a storm raging in the outside world right now. The typhoon, right? Everyone closes their eyes during the storm, for that is 
comes when the world within begins to encroach. One will have no choice but to face what has gone hidden while their eyes were averted. There are storms that can shake up fate and even time itself. Sorry about this glare of one. The velvet room suddenly shrieks and comes it, to a halt. It stopped. Hey, it reminds me of a roller coaster. The way it keeps climbing until it stops all of a sudden. Shut up! If that were true, it would drop. <gasps> we are currently descending in an uncontrolled freefall. We are indeed falling. Are we going to crash? Into what? Uh, uh, I don't know. The bottom? Dun, dun, dun! A clock. Well, everyone, that's it for now. I'll be back with part two very shortly. But, everyone, I hope to see you guys soon. And I'll make sure to record this video when it's a lot darker because of the glare. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and we'll see what happened to our crew very, very soon.